Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Margaret Pratt, and I'm talking to you today to provide you with an update on the murder of my husband, who was killed in St Lucia in January 2014. And as my increasing numbers of, of followers know, we've been waiting now over four years to get the four people who almost immediately confessed into court for justice in St Lucia. The case went back to court on Monday the 26th and um, the request made of the judge was to permit um, another forensic examination of one of the accused, a forensic psychologist, um, to assess his fitness to plead. And the court has kindly agreed to that second opinion being sought. So the matter has been deferred until the 27th, I think, of April. I hope to have an update myself at that point. Um, I, I think this is good news. It's still a very tight time scale to achieve the 27th of April, but things do appear to be moving. There has been some progress in terms of improvement in forensic sciences on St Lucia. There has been really good news in the instance of two, the cases of two ladies with whom I'm in touch here in the UK. Both now have had results through the forensic lab in St Lucia. I have had no such news. I'm very keen to get clarity on the forensics because I know at the time I left St Lucia, the police had what would be compelling forensic evidence linking people to the site of the murder and to the attack, the personal attack on me. So I'm very keen to get that sorted out and I've asked for the, the Foreign Commonwealth Office again to pursue with the St Lucia authorities progress on the forensics. The other piece of news is not so good really and that is that over the past month there's been another flurry of homicides in St Lucia which demonstrates again this is not a safe place um, and obviously my sympathy my heart goes out to the loved ones of the victims of those homicides. Finally I just want to say thank you to everyone who is following the Justice for Roger campaign, who is spreading the word. We are in increasing our reach in terms of this campaign, not just amongst the tourist destinations, but amongst the Caribbean islands and specifically St Lucia. We're getting, a, we're getting ahead of steam about the broader <clears throat> safety and justice issues in St Lucia. And I'm, I'm very happy about that. Thank you all so much. Keep up the good work. The campaign is touching a nerve. And because it's touching a nerve, we've got a far, far stronger sense of success and achievement arising from that. And I'm very keen that that we obviously personally, that we capitalise on that, but not just for me personally, but for other people too. And um, so I'd like to wish everyone a happy Easter and I'll look forward to talking to everyone again in about a month's time.